just a member for the crown? I don't know. Um, he won't be able to crown a day who got to this. Yes. This is Calvin. Ms. Calvin, if you take to the witness box, please. Calvin, on the night of the 30th of August 2013, were you sexually assaulted by these three defendants? Yes, I was. And how could you be so sure it was them? It was very dark when they grabbed me. I could still see, see it was them. I don't know who was doing what. It was horrible. What happened when they took hold of you? They put me down on the table. And then what happened then? They raped my nipples off. And how did that make you feel? You frightened? I thought they were going to rape me, but I was terrified and I was crying for them. <coughs> Did they say anything whilst they were doing this? They were sharing calling me a slut and love. There's another question. Could you just adjourn for a second? Council, can you switch the air conditioning on, please? The council will be reminded that you must speak loudly to reach the back members of the jury. And speak loudly so you can be heard. The on button, the one with the light above it. Top, at the top, at the top, at the top there. Thank you. Okay, so you can cross examine him. Yes, sir. And Mr. Blackmore, if you'd like to cross examine Ms. Calvin, please. Yes, Your Honour. Uh, on behalf of uh, uh, Bachelor, um, and, uh, I've got a few questions uh, towards Ms. Calvin. Um, Mr. Calvin, why did you not report to the police until four weeks uh, um, after the allegation incident? I've heard, I've heard about the police not being molested. So you weren't yeah, worried about sexual assaults. So you weren't worried about how did they treat you? Did you tell the, your boyfriend that night when you got home? Yeah. No. No. What are you threatening of? I wouldn't understand. Understand what? That he, he might think I had uh, somehow I'd let them on. Why would you even think that? I don't know. Is that the jello type? Yes. Is that jello type that suggests that you lead people on? Mm -hmm. How did you meet him? At the restaurant. Did he work there? No. So did you meet him? How did you meet him? A customer. What, a regular customer? No, he just went out. So you were his waiters? Yes. Did one thing lead to another? Yes. Did you have uh, sex at the same night you met? Do you need the tips? Your Honour. Uh, Mr. Blackmore, you're finished, I think. No further question, Your Honour. Mr. Sparker, if you'd like to... Yes, Your Honour, I have a few, a few questions for um, Ms. Calvin. Uh, I'd like to start off with Ms. Calvin by asking you how many bombings were undone on the night of the incident, the first week? Is the purpose of that to show a bit of teenage? No. Well, why not two buttons? How much is third? Above the knee? Yes. How far above the knee? A few inches. How many inches, Mrs. Calvin? Six. Your Honour, please. The line of cross-examination is directly relevant to the defence case. I'm happy for the jury to hear this, Mr. Munger. Uh, okay. I'd like to continue asking your question, Mr. Calvin. When you, when you were waitressing, is it right that you have to leave a cross table to serve customers? Yes. With a skirt that is short, it's highly likely that your nipples will be very visible, isn't it? Possibly, but. Which means these defendants would have known that they were skin pure free, wouldn't they? Possibly. Were you flirting with them? The thing about being a waitress is that it's so hard to job. So the answer is yes. A bit. Or when they were drunk and started smashing the glasses, I went into the park out of the way. But yet you went back. 
They pushed me down on the table and ripped my pants off me. Why don't you ask me a question about that? So why go back in if they're behaving so bad as you play? On your own, in your skirt, six inches above the knee, remember. And your shirt with all with your shirt with all those bonds undone in the dark. It was dark. I was frightened it was going to be. So dark that you couldn't see which one of the three was aggravating and egging on the whole situation? Yes. Really? I've told you I don't know which of them was doing what. You were speaking to them all night, communicating them throughout the night. Taking orders flirty, laughing, joking. Are you asking this jury to believe you couldn't tell the voice of the part? What are you saying? No further questions, Your Honour. Why, why have you sat down now? Are you afraid of what you say? Are you holding me off? Are you? Miss Calvin, please return to the public gallery. Thank you for your time. I think we should adjourn for verdict. All right.